Special thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So I'm being a little daring this morning and trying to do something a little more fun because it is Friday and I thought it would be fun to make a special breakfast for Zaya before school. She is still um, getting herself together. She's very independent. So while she is doing that, I am getting started on this. I'm just gonna be using this pre-made pancake and waffle mix, which is the just add water one to make it faster because I really don't have that much time to be whipping up a full gourmet breakfast right now. But I'm not gonna just add water. I'm gonna add almond milk because anytime something says just add water, I typically do milk or in my case almond milk because it usually makes it taste better versus just using water. So yeah, this should be fairly quick. Just a little bit of mix and a little bit of milk. And then just to kind of switch it up, I'm gonna put some blueberries in there. I know typically when you're doing this, I think it sometimes works better to use frozen, but I have fresh, so that's what we're gonna use. Oh, and I always like to add some secret ingredients. Cinnamon or cinnamon sugar, just to add a little extra pizzazz, and then vanilla extract. Just brings out the flavor of the ready-made mix. And I've already got my little mini waffle maker heating up back here. I'm literally just gonna make like a couple of mini waffles. I'm not trying to make a whole family size platter of waffles right now at eight o'clock in the morning before school. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a fun mom and do something quick. Spray it down real quick so it doesn't stick. Go ahead and pour. So while that waffle is cooking, I am actually going to make Zaya's lunch. Basically, I'm gonna do a TikTok quesadilla and I'm gonna be making it in my air fryer. So you just get one of these big tortillas and then you cut a little slit halfway up on one side just like that. And that just helps you fold it a certain way. So inside of here, I am going to put some cheese and then I have some already pre-cooked, chopped up, pre-prepared chicken that I'm also gonna put in here. And then you fold this one over like that. And then you make another layer. So a little bit more cheese. And I'm actually going to sneak in a little bit of green in here with this little baby spinach. I'm always trying to fit in extra vegetables wherever I can. Zaya needs the hidden vegetables. Maybe a little bit more cheese on top so it sticks. And then you flip it again, boop like that. A little bit more cheese so it sticks again. You can even add more toppings if there was like more things you wanted to put in it. Bacon or other veggies or whatever, you can make each layer different. Those are the only toppings I'm gonna do for Zaya. And then you just flip it one more time, press it down, make sure everything is inside. And it gives you like this little quesadilla pita almost with the different layers. And I found that it cooks really quick and easily in the air fryer, but the air fryer does tend to blow things around so you have to kind of use toothpicks to hold stuff together. So I'm just gonna put a couple of toothpicks in here. Oh, my waffle is burning. <laughs> couple of toothpicks in it to hold it down and then just place it in the air fryer. And if you want stuff to come out like really good and crispy in the air fryer, you always have to coat it in some sort of like oil or butter or something to help like crisp it up. So this is just pure olive oil in the spray can. So I'm gonna spray this. That makes it easier. And literally just pop this in at 400 for like six minutes-ish until everything is heated through and melted. Looks like our waffle is done. Got one, I'm gonna do like maybe two more. So it's good to flip this over halfway through to get kind of crispy on the other side. So I'm gonna spray this side as well. Put it back in for literally just like two more minutes. All right, we've got two little blueberry waffles. Got the last one in there, so I made the perfect amount of batter. This just went off, so let's see. Yep, looking nice and crispy. So let me finish packing up Zaya's lunch. I'm going to just wrap up the quesadilla in a piece of foil. Like 
so. And for fruit today, let's do just one of these little tangerines, mandarins, whatever this is. And then I'm also going to put in a juice box, a yogurt, something snacky, salty, and that should be good for Zaya's lunch. And it looks like our last waffle is done. Here's a little blueberry waffle. And we can put some raspberries with it. Some honey on top. Yum. Does it look good? Let me cut it up for you so it's easier to eat. Nice little fruity, fun breakfast for a Friday. I did make two for myself, but I'll probably have to save these and eat them after I get back from dropping Zaya off because while she's eating that, I need to clean this up and make sure all the rest of her school stuff is together and I need to hurry up and drop her off. So I'll just wait and eat mine when I get back. Let's see, I'm getting all discombobulated. Like I said, that's mom life. You just eat the leftovers later. Make sure the kids eat and you just eat yours later. Is it good? You like it? All right, so I just got back from dropping Zaya off at school and now I can take a little bit more time for my breakfast. Now, granted, if I would have just woke up earlier today, I could have had time ahead of time to make my coffee and eat and everything, but I didn't and that's okay. So I'm just gonna make my coffee now. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how I have been making my coffee recently. I don't know if this is like a real thing, if it has a name or if I made it up or what, but it's just like a way that I like to do it because I like a lot of foam. So basically what you gotta do is you put your flavor or your syrup and first I have this um, caramel and French vanilla syrups that I always use so I'm gonna do the French vanilla today just like a little bit of syrup in the bottom of the cup then make sure you shake well you put your creamer in on top of the syrup before you brew your coffee and I just do like about that much so maybe like mm, one fourth of the total mug. Then I take my handy dandy little frother that I got on Amazon and froth this up quite a bit. It doesn't have to be warm. This is cold and I don't know if it's because of the type of creamer that I use, but it actually gets really frothy. This is just an almond milk vanilla creamer with the vanilla syrup to add extra flavor and sweetness. So I froth, froth, froth for a long time. Usually I keep it going with one hand while I get the Keurig ready with the other hand. So this is gonna like double in size pretty much. It just gets like really, really fluffy and frothy. And then you brew your coffee on top of this foam. But the foam ends up like, I don't know, it just, it just makes like a really nice texture, I guess, if you wanna call it a texture. And then at this point, there's two ways that I like to do it. Sometimes I just let the coffee brew on top and let it do its thing. But then sometimes I'll actually take the frother and continue frothing the whole time while the coffee is going in there. So the whole entire thing like gets really like frothy and creamy. Even if you don't froth it the whole time, the froth ends up coming up to the top anyway, but this just like does like a double, triple froth extravaganza. Yeah, it looks like that. Super creamy and frothy and just like, I don't know, the texture and the way it feels when you drink it is just elite. It really doesn't taste any different than if I would have just like brewed the coffee and poured the creamer in afterwards and stirred it in normally. It still gives you the same flavor, but it's a totally different experience when it's like so frothy and foamy and creamy. Mm, it just makes it better. I don't know why. That's how I like to do it. And I had put those other two waffles in the microwave, so I'm just gonna warm them up real quick and eat those, and that'll be my breakfast. And I will be eating my breakfast at my desk so I can get started with my work. I eat a lot of my meals at my desk. I don't know if that's like a bad thing, but it's just what works for me. 
Okay, so it's like almost 2 p.m. now, which means I need to eat lunch. So for my lunch today, I am going to make like a chicken BLT avocado sriracha mayo wrap situation. Basically just using all this stuff that I have. Bacon, I've already put the bacon in the air fryer because that's like a quick way to crisp up a small amount of bacon. I have the same big tortillas that I used for Zaya's lunch. I'm gonna use one of those. I have like a little bit of leftover spinach, some romaine, half of an avocado, that same chicken I used for Zaya. I got some tomato. And then I'm gonna make like a quick sriracha mayo using mayo and sriracha. And I think it's gonna be pretty good. So I need a cutting board. Where's my cutting board? While the bacon is cooking, I am going to rinse and slice a few of these cherry tomatoes. Honestly, it's Friday, so we're coming towards kind of like the end of our groceries. Like kind of only have like a few random things left over. So that's when I do stuff like this, like just kind of taking what I have left over and putting it in some type of salad or wrap or pasta or something. But what we do have is our HelloFresh delivery. So we're covered for dinner. Obviously with HelloFresh, we're gonna have everything that we need to make a really nice dinner tonight, but just to go ahead and use up everything that is left in the fridge, I wanted to make this for lunch and then we'll have our HelloFresh and then over the weekend, I will restock the fridge. I mean, it's better to use up your groceries and do something like HelloFresh rather than like let your groceries go to waste because you don't have all the ingredients or you feel like you don't have the right stuff. And then you end up just ordering takeout. And then it's like, not only are you wasting groceries, but then you're also probably eating something unhealthy when you order in. So I've just been trying to be a little bit better about using up what I have in creative ways and then incorporating something like HelloFresh so that we're eating more home-cooked meals. I don't know if y'all remember when I first talked about this avocado tool in one of my last videos, but I actually use it all the time. It actually really works and comes in handy. It has a little thing where you get the pit out, boom, like that, and then a little scraper if you need to scrape off any brown parts. <laughs> and then this little thing, you just go like this. Boom, and it's already sliced up. All right, for this little sriracha mayo sauce dressing, I'm kind of making it up. I've done a similar thing like this before, so I kind of know how it's gonna taste, how I like it. Basically, I just, I like making mayonnaise-based secret sauces to put on stuff, like aiolis, if you will, kind of. So I'm gonna start with some mayo and then sriracha, a little scoop of pre-minced garlic. Don't knock it till you try it, okay? And then I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper, just a little bit of salt. And why not just throw a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there? Mix that up. Mm-hmm, simple little, ooh, there's the bacon. But yeah, this is just like a simple little sauce to put on like whatever. I'm gonna warm up this chicken a little bit on the stove. I could honestly just microwave it, but I like the texture better when you do it on the stove just cause I don't really like cold chicken. Whether it's a salad or a wrap or what, I don't want my chicken cold. Okay. Extra crispy bacon, nearly burnt, just like I like it. Get a nice little tortilla. I'm gonna lay down some of this sauce, not too much. That might even been too much. A little bit of bacon, tomato, put some chicken on there. And let's see, my avocado. Boom, boom, boom. Might as well use this spinach. I'm gonna rip off the stems though, cause I don't like the super long spinach stems. And top it off with some romaine. All right, now to wrap this up, let's see. You gotta do like this and like this, and like this. Oh, it's ripping. I should have warmed up the tortilla maybe. <laughs> you know, it's not perfect, but it's worth it. <laughs> that should be fine. Nice little burrito. All right, let's do a taste test. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no, it's falling apart. I did not do the tortilla correctly, but the flavors are there. It's really giving 
everything it was supposed to give, if you ask me. Mm, I love anything with bacon and avocado, so I already knew this was about to be a win. Highly, highly suggest y'all try this. Mm, mm, but maybe wrap it up differently. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's dinner time. It is like 6.30, time for dinner. I picked Zaya up from school earlier. We've been, well, I was gonna say we've been chilling, but I really haven't been chilling. I've been working on stuff, but she's been chilling upstairs. Zaya, come help me cook dinner. And like I mentioned earlier, we have HelloFresh for our dinner tonight, which is gonna make it super quick and easy because like I said, kind of running low on groceries, but this is going to give me everything I need to cook a really quick and delicious dinner without having to go grocery shopping for all the ingredients because everything I need is right here. So I've talked about HelloFresh before. I always like to get Zaya involved <laughs> so she can help me cook. These recipes are super easy. What I like about HelloFresh is number one, it takes out the stress of meal planning and prepping. Everything is planned and prepped and pre-packaged up in the exact quantities that you need. You get all your ingredients delivered right to your door and these nice little handy dandy packs with all the instructions and everything. You get your um, little recipe cards, which, you know, map out everything for you. So yeah, I like that it's quick and easy and it's something fun for Zaya and I to do together. Usually the meals come together in 30 minutes or less, which is perfect for me. Also, all of the pre-portioned ingredients means that you are not wasting food. Everything is exactly how much you need. So less prep, less stress, less wasted food. It's more sustainable. They use sustainable packaging and everything. And I also like how it kind of helps you take you out of your recipe rut. If you're the type of person who kind of constantly ends up cooking the same three things over and over again, this is gonna help you discover new recipes and actually learn how to cook them along the way. Plus it's flexible. So if you ever need to change your delivery days or switch out your food preferences or skip a day or something like that, the plans are super flexible. And another thing that I like about HelloFresh is that they are committed to giving back. They have actually done donated millions, millions of meals. So I think that's really awesome too. I love to support companies that give back. So we got our three dinner options for tonight and we'll save the rest for another day. We have the bulgogi lime pork tenderloin, firecracker meatballs, ooh, with roasted green beans and jasmine rice, this looks good. And then Italian wedding soup. Oh, this is a soup, that's a new one. I haven't gotten a soup with HelloFresh yet, but the firecracker meatballs look Good. I want this one. You want that one too? It's got sriracha. I had sriracha with my lunch. I'm kind of on a sriracha thing right now. So yeah, let's do the firecracker meatballs. I think that'll be a good one. So then all you have to do is get the bag that goes with it. Put these in the fridge for later. So easy a four-year-old can do it. So first we have to prep. Preheat the oven, slice the scallions, mince the ginger. Then we're gonna make a sauce, cook the rice, make meatballs, roast the meatballs and the green beans all on the same pan in the oven, and then kind of just put it all together. And it says you can adjust the spiciness to your liking. So I'll make mine spicy and I'll make hers not as spicy. Okay, so I'll have you do the sauce. So you're basically just gonna dump all these packets into a bowl. I'll cut them open for you. Where's the scissors? And I will get to prepping our scallions and ginger. I feel like HelloFresh is perfect for us because we really benefit from having these like pre-portioned out ingredients. Well, I'm gonna making toy recipes. You're gonna making toy recipes? Uh-huh, cause when my baby dolls are hungry for dinner, I make them exactly me. And you should come up to my toy kitchen and now I'll tell you what we're making tonight for my baby doll. Oh yeah, see you, you're a busy lady cause you have to make real dinner and then you have to make toy dinner for all those babies upstairs. How many babies do you have? Um, actually I have triplets in my house. So the little refrigerator that was in my playhouse I'm using for a theme of the bed for baby Kinsey and for baby 
pumpkin. She's gonna be sleeping on the bunk bed, so she's gonna be sleeping on the bottom, and then Asika sleeps on the top. Oh, dang, that's that's a lot of hard work to feed three babies, and you gotta have bunk beds and all that stuff that you said. Well, actually, um, the, the babies are two, so they can eat by themselves. Oh, they know how to feed themselves when they're only two years old? Yeah, because they already passed two years old, and now they're three years old. Oh. Mommy, smell it. Mmm. Smells like soy sauce. Did you put the honey in there? And like clockwork, Bougie gets in his chair trying to see what's going on when there's food being made. Smells like rice. Mm-hmm. Beef, panko, scallion, ginger, soy sauce, salt, pepper, and form into balls. So we just have to mix it up. I'm gonna make kind of smaller sized meatballs, golf ball size, and put them on here. Do you know how to roll into a ball? We made a perfect, even pan of meatballs. Now we, ah! We do not lick raw meat, Zaya. Here's our meatballs. Okay, go, go ahead and pour those green beans into that glass dish. Okay, see if you can drizzle a little bit of oil over all the green beans, just a little bit. You gotta turn it all the way upside down. Do, 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 stop. Good job. And boom, just like that, the prep work is done in literally just like 15 minutes. Now we just put everything in the oven. Green beans on the top, meatballs on the bottom. It says that this will only take 15 minutes. And I got the rice in the rice cooker, which is about to probably be done in just that amount of time. So let me set a timer. And in 15 minutes, we will have dinner. <laughs> This meal turned out super good. It's actually one of my favorites that I have ever tried from HelloFresh so far. I highly recommend that you guys try out HelloFresh if you're interested. You guys can go to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 Raven Elise to get 10 free meals, including shipping. All the info will be down below. Mmm, this is good. Do you like the meatballs? All right, as our dessert, our last treat of the night, one of my lovely subscribers has a sweet treats business, like baked goods and stuff. It's called Sweet Casa Cakes. And she sent over these hot chocolate bombs where you just drop it into hot milk and it like explodes and it makes hot chocolate. So you wanna make one? Mm -hmm. Two mugs of hot almond milk. Pink one is yours. Let's show the camera what the ball looks like first. Ready, drop it in gentle. Boop. And hopefully if the milk is hot enough, it will begin to melt and then it will explode. Uh-oh, I think mine's going down. Mine's not even going down. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's going so slow, it's going. Is it melting? Oh, it is melting. Uh-oh, I see something. Marshmallows in there. <laughs> there yours goes. Ooh, what a, oh my God, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I think that's a, a uh, pink heart marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute. There's no chocolate inside. I guess because the actual thing is chocolate, but it's like white chocolate. 
Maybe that's why? I thought I was gonna have chocolate powder in it to like turn it into like regular hot chocolate, but maybe it's just the actual outside thing. Okay, you wanna taste it? Mm. Oh, it's like a different take on hot chocolate. It's like a, almost like, what flavor is that? Oh, I can't, that's gonna bother me. What flavor is that? I know. What? It's like a strawberry pink apple. Does it taste like strawberry kind of? It's not your typical, just regular hot chocolate, it's like a different flavor and a different color. Very Valentine's with a little heart on it. I don't wanna eat the heart, it's so pretty. It's too pretty to eat? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you don't have to eat it, but you probably it tastes pretty good. You can eat it. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video.